Fox, what is your purpose here? Why are you here? We're going to find out mm. about an asylum seekers group mm -hmm. that have a drop-in session mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. on a Monday evening. Mm -hmm. Time now uh -huh. at Amli here, uh -huh. meeting point. Uh -huh. um, what is your job at Amli? In Amli? Yeah, yeah, uh, the meeting point here. Yeah. Hey, yeah. What do you normally do? Oh, before 11 o'clock, I set up the table and chairs and I talk with the volunteers yeah. and then we divide the food mm -hmm. to make a food puzzle for benefit beneficiaries. So after that, I do language cafe or kitchen or I'm helping with the children sometimes. So okay. Do you really think um, um, this is a nice place for um, uh, refugees and asylum seekers or the vulnerable or destitute? Yes, of course. Because lots of people coming mm. to get some food and they can talk with the people who are in the same situation or they can learn English as well so I think it's a really good place to be. Yeah. Like, how many people do you think normally comes here? Oh I think it's uh, over 60 people. Mm -hmm. And you love working with, with, with them? Yeah of course of course. That's so Antoine how have you been feeling of late? In this um, uh, asylum situation, it's very hard for me. It's very hard because yeah. we are flee. I flee from India, yeah. and is I am looking protection. Mm. I am not coming here for any benefit or something. Yeah. I just come here for my protection, and I am looking here mm. uh, uh, women's right instead of any status. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Antoine, as I have known you for um, um, for the past um, um, years now, you know you are always crying. Why do you cry always? Why? Why do you I am suffering from ten years with uh, this trauma and yeah. depression, anxiety yeah. because of my husband and my in-laws' family, yeah. and that's why I am taking antidepressant tablet from ten years. Yeah. Now I am always crying. Sometime home office sending the cars or something is going on from my house and I am scared. They will put me in detention. Yeah. Good. That was rather nice. <laughs> Do you want some? No, thank you. So what were the reasons behind setting this up? Well, it was um, a member of this church who lived across the road and there were some uh, people from Pakistan who lived higher up the road and she felt she should get to know them and seek if they needed any help. The people here tonight who have been here since the start of the project, like I have, and uh, they've been coming back and the families have grown up and they still think this is very much like home. Yeah, yeah and, and sometimes we, we see them through the week as well. They clothe me, they feed me, Sometimes they help me to to to, to fold for the house and for accommodation. Like the last time when I was homeless, they helped me to find the place to stay. Sometimes he gives us money if you don't have milk or whatever you have. Yeah. You buy with that money and to help. Me. If you look at my hat, it's a very special one for the, for summer season, for the red for cruise. So it means if I'm outside there, they just think that I'm going for cruise. So it really. We went for trips, we have a women's group, with lots of functions. They can take us to the field, to the opera, they refer you to all sorts of like counseling people, they can refer you to so many people, and they can tell, call the people who can train us for stress management, so it helps us a lot. If you talk to people to release your stress, giving ideas to each other. It's a step for me. If 
for me to step on so that I can keep on going. Because without them, I don't think I'll be on this stage. I think I was going to die with the stress or I was going to be in the hospital for a long time because uh, of no, no, not having friends, of not having support, of not having all, all sorts of things. Can you do ventriloquist as well? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, your lips move in. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, the drop-ins each, the drop-ins easier because um, there's it's a mixture of men and women and children, um, and I just come along to help with the English, I help with the food, and I help put the clothes out. Get here at ten o'clock, and I love it because I live by myself. You know, I'm a widow, and my son's in Korea, and coming here is just like coming to a family meeting people yeah. and I find people are so friendly apart from this one it's just bit me um, the friendliness is, is, is I can't explain I can't explain the friendliness but I come here for help in a sense it makes me feel important I think it's the right word so the women's group allows women to share things so we're hoping to get something set up for men as well because that's the kind of socks men are important as well aren't they? so you like the volunteer I love volunteering, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you I love it. It's not just meeting point all isolated by itself. It, it moves off into the community and to um, other organisations. So, which is very good. good yes. yes. Yeah, to yeah. feel it's the community that matters, not just Christchurch and yeah, yeah, individual yeah, projects. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, nice speaking to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for your time. So, um, with your visit here today, um, how do you find it here? Uh, did you enjoy it? Uh, yeah. Did you find anything interesting? Lots of interesting stories. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Ah, so you, you love it? Oh, Mr. Fox, we are happy you, are, you came. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Fox. <laughs> <laughs>